The sport of harness racing, more than most, has a family tradition. Fathers and sons have followed each other with frequent success. Fathers and sons and daughters is another matter altogether. In Ohio, Diane Williams is the unique third party of that unusual trio. The fact that women work in this day and age is something which is absolutely not new. They work as doctors, lawyers, nurses, corporate vice presidents. It should not be surprising that women also work in harness racing. There's one very special young lady who comes from Southeast Ohio, in the community of Lebanon, very near Dayton. Her name, Diane Williams. She's a harness racing driver, and a fairly successful one at that. But more than that, she's a wife and a mother, managing both a racing stable and a growing family. It's hard, but I enjoy the baby being around me. I, I could take her to babysitter, but I'd rather have her around me. And my oldest daughter, she's over here on the track, running around most of the time. But uh, it's not hard. You just got to work in between and take care of the horse and taking care of them. But it's a long day, isn't it? It's no, not bad. I mean, I'd rather have a long day with the horses than working nine to five. You know? office I couldn't handle that working woman or not it's been a long day for anyone eight hours ago she was training Colts at the fairgrounds at Lebanon Ohio then this afternoon loaded root beer slammer her star pacer into the van for an hour and a half trip here to Columbus Ohio and Scioto Downs tonight you see is the payoff the open pace against that all-male driving crew but driving against the fellows doesn't leave Diane at a handicap I've never had any problem with the men treat me any different than any other drivers. Ever since I started driving, I haven't had any problems. I think in a business like this, it's, it's a sport. You gotta compete against them just like they compete against you. You just can't let yourself down because they're a man and you're a woman. Diane Williams may feel that being a woman in a male-dominated sport is no handicap, but the number seven post position is always a handicap. But Diane does a very nice job with Root Beer Slammer, finding early position along the rail while the leaders fight it out through fast early fractions. The raw fan pacing, deadly breeze, fires out quickly for the lead. When swept song along the inside, benefits early from the rail second. And Root Beer Slammer from the outside on the go third, followed by Trust the Yankee at the rail fourth. Easy authority next at the rail fifth, and Tomasino came away sixth. London Point, Kevin trails the field. They race around the first turn and deadly breeze on the lead by two. Opening quarter is up in a snappy 27 and two fifths. Now they pass us for the first time and deadly breeze shows the way. Wind swept song along the inside a second. Trust the Yankee is racing third and Root Beer Slammer now finds a seat along the inside fourth. Now the field races onto the final turn. Deadly breeze along the inside has the lead. Wind swept song. Up to challenge from the outside. Far outside, Trust the Yankee is coming on. Root Bear Slammer is saving ground all the way at the rail, but will need racing room. Tomasino is there. Homeward bound and Windswept Song on the outside of Deadly Breeze. Those two battle for the lead. Windswept Song is up late and pulling clear. Tonight, there's no visit to the winner's circle. For Diane Williams and Root Bear Slammer, Instead, it's back on the van for a 100-mile trip home to Lebanon Raceway and another 16-hour working day tomorrow for Diane Williams. Root Beer Slammer is sired by a stallion named Positive Outlook. That, I think, is something we can say about Diane Williams. She does indeed have a positive outlook. A working woman, a mother, and in a business that she loves. We should all be so lucky. At Soyota Downs for Harness Racing 89, I'm John Pavlov.